Am I the asshole? For not child proofing my home against teenagers? I like to relax with THC. Lucky for me it is legal where I live. I have small kids so I keep my edibles in my room in my closet up high. Pun intended. My niece Lacey babysits for me all the time. She is a good girl and I like having her over to give her a break from her mom. My sister-in-law is a loving wife and mother but her personal beliefs can be a little overwhelming. Last weekend Lacey was watching my kids and she had a craving for sweets. My kids told her where I keep my stash of candy that I don't like to share. The poor dummy went and took some of my sour gummy edibles as well as some of my regular candy that I don't share with my stinking kids. When I got home the kids were asleep and Lacey was on the couch staring at her phone and trying to use it as a TV remote. I called my brother and told him I would be late so Lacey would be spending the night. It isn't a problem with us and it isn't an uncommon situation. In the morning I had a talk with her about THC and how it wasn't the best idea to use it a lot when you are young. She asked a lot of questions and apologized for taking my candy without permission. Like I said she is a good kid and her mom has drilled some weird beliefs into her. She told her mom what happened. Her mom lost it on me. How I'm a drug addict and I should be in jail. That I need to child proof my home if I'm going to have narcotics in my home. She is banning Lacey from babysitting for me. Am I the asshole? Fighter for laughing? ESH. Your kids clearly know where your special candy is and it's not locked up, meaning that your kids or their friends could probably get to it. Your niece ate something that was obviously hidden without asking. You still has a right to be upset though her reaction is a bit extreme emo. Info so you keep a stash of secret candy, some of which contains drugs, that you don't want your kids to eat, but they know about it, and know exactly where it is? Not the asshole I would be angry if someone went into my bedroom and searched my closet. That is wrong. I don't care if it was a babysitter or a relative. People should ask permission before they go into your room, and no one has a right to search or rummage through your room. Now that you know that your privacy and belongings are not safe even with people you trust to watch your children, I would definitely get a lockbox. No one has a problem with her going into your room and searching your closet. Not the asshole. It was proof she snooped around found it. THC candies are also clearly labeled very hard to unwrap. At least where I am in the world. My dog got a hold of one once couldn't even gnaw it open, the plastic wrapper is that strong. I use scissors. ESH. With your own kids in the house who clearly know where it is, you should lock up your candy. But also how did Lacey think that was okay, to go into your secret stash hidden in your closet? And her mother has a right to be mad but is overreacting a bit. This isn't real. If your kids knew about the candy stash, they would have made your niece share it, and if she didn't know which was which your kids would have eaten THC too. Not the asshole. Let's be honest, the kid was never in any danger and the mother is overreacting. Would have been much worse if it had been alcohol, which most parents don't even hide. I have small kids so I keep my edibles in my room in my closet up high. My kids told her where I keep my stash of candy that I don't like to share. So you keep the candy hidden in your room. And yet not only do the kids know that you have candy in the first place, but they even know where it's hidden? Something isn't right. You're the asshole assuming this isn't fake. Not the asshole but maybe put them in a safer place where your kids don't know about them. How old is Lacey? I think there's a big difference between a 13 years -o or 19 years or getting hold of THC. I'm leaning towards the SH. You for not simply putting a lock on your closet. Lacey for getting things from your room without permission. Sil for the way they spoke to you and depending on how old Laura is for overreacting. Ah, the 2023 version of Van of Green Gables and the current wine. Info were the cannabis candies marked on the packaging? All the ones I have have made it very clear on the packaging what it was. Not the asshole. 
let's pretend it wasn't THC candy in your closet, just normal candy. It's still a huge invasion of privacy to go through someone's bedroom closet just because I'm snacky. She's old enough to babysit, she's old enough to know that if you're putting something in your closet, it's not to share. Not the asshole. Now, move your THC somewhere else. Not the asshole, but I think depending on her age, you may be giving Lacey a bit too much of the benefit of the doubt. I think more than likely she was just snooping around looking for some edibles because she knows you have them, rather than your young children telling her about special candy hidden in the closet. If Lacey is old enough and mature enough to babysit and lives in a legal state, she'd be able to put together what the candies are. Not the asshole. You probably should lock up your gummies, though. Imagine taking multiples and having to deal with that high at your kid's age. It would probably be traumatic. Sh, but especially sil for equating weed with fucking narcotics, like that is the most ignorant BS I've ever heard lol. But yeah, if you're going to allow minors into your home, you gotta lock that shit up. Kids don't think and teens don't care. Sh for not telling her mum as soon as you realized she had taken it. She obviously shouldn't have stolen them in the first place. I'm not close with my family, but even if I was I couldn't see myself eating candy out of someone else's closet. Such a weird situation all around. You're the asshole. One your kids knew where it was. Not well hidden, is it? To imagine if your niece had shared this in large dosages with your kids. That wouldn't end well. 3. You attempted to hide this from your sister-in-law by having your niece stay over. 4. You don't seem to have apologized or even admitted guilt to yourself over this. You're the asshole mate. You created a situation where a teenager took drugs without knowledge or consent. I know you didn't do this purposefully, but ultimately you are the adult and you need to secure your drugs better if you let children run around your house unsupervised. Natar. All the people screaming cause your kids know where it is, imagine if they didn't know about it and found it one day thinking it was regular candy? How are they supposed to learn to leave it alone if we hide it? It's 2023 not 1923. Not the asshole, in your closet up high is sufficient for a teenager to know they're off limits. You're the asshole for a few reasons. The kids should never have know about your stash. There is no reason for them to. The THC gummies should not have been around candy. And if the kids did know about the gummies existing, they should have been explained as medication, not candy, until they are old enough for a more in-depth discussion. I usually hate obvious satire but this got me. You really should lock it up. If it were my kid, I honestly would have probably had the same reaction. As a participant myself, I always keep things hidden and not always in the same spot actually. If your kids know where it is, it's not really in a safe place and it shouldn't be with other candy. I'm sorry to say bye you're the asshole. Good luck.